Okay, so basically, conditional and unconditional probability is directly related to the independent and dependent events. Okay, we to say that it applies to the intersection, how to calculate the intersection. Okay, one example is uh, the dependent for the dependent event, the conditional, uh, which also known as conditional probability. Okay, the example is pick two M and M's from a jar containing two red and three blue M mm and -hmm. M's. So the probability of getting a red M and M in the second pick is dependent on the first pick, on the first pick. So because uh, in the jar they have only they only have two red and three blues uh, m and m's so of course the i mean the 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 pick the, the m and m that we pick is totally dependent on the first pick if i say you pick the red and blue so you're gonna have like another two blue and one red for example okay so this is the rule again like i mentioned previously so basically Sometimes you're gonna give you're gonna be given the the value for this one, and sometimes you're gonna be given the value for the intersection. And of course, the PB usually is given. But please take note that usually, uh, if they say uh they want for example write the equation. Name, name the x uh, name the a, given by b, so mean to say that. The given by B should be B. Of course, right? Because you want to find the A. So, of course, you should have the value for B. So, that's how you want to remember. Let's say you forgot which one is PA, which one is PB, just in case. Okay, next up is we have unconditional probability, which is the independent event. For example, it's tossed a coin twice. The probability of getting a hit with second toys is independent of the first toys. I mean to say that no matter how many or maybe no matter how, how hard or maybe how how much you toss it, it's it's not gonna influence your first or second toss. Like really. Okay, for the independent events, uh we can by definition, two events A and B are independent if and only if P, the probability of A given B equals to probability of A or the vice versa, probability of B given A equals to probability of B. Otherwise, they are truly dependent. So, for the uh, depend for the dependent. For dependent, of course, you have to refer to this formula. Okay, I have a question here. Okay, let's say you toss a fair coin twice. Let's define the events. Hit on the second toss. Okay? So this is the, the, the tree that you usually have to draw so because there are mark so there are marks for this right so of course don't ever forget to make a draw sketch on this but make sure it's correct okay for example right uh, of course for the coin you only have head and tail so basically you have head 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 tail tail head tail tail right of course because you, they only have two options you let's say the dice they have like six surface six options so of course you're gonna be like more Okay, so the solution is hit on the second toss. Uh, they want us to calculate the P, the probability of A given by B. Okay, okay. In, in this, uh, for the value, it uh, of course right because they have four possibility. Uh, sorry, probability. So of course one is one point one point one point one point. Hmm. 
okay in this case we want p a given b so what is p a so of course you have to choose the p a given p b right say so what is the p a let's think any guesses head on second toss how many only one right so it's going to be one fourth divided by head on first toss how many one fourth plus one fourth so it's going to be equals to one half so this is the value for so you can click by yourself it's a simple man right okay okay next up we have another exercise is the probability that a regularly scheduled flight departs on time is pd 0 0.83 and the probability that it arrives on time is PA, which is 0 0.82. And the probability that it departs and arrives on time is PD intercept A equals to 0 0.78. So, find the probability that a plane arrives on time. So, of course, they want us to find the PA. Right? So, the PA equals to so over here we have p d intercept a sorry this is p yeah so divided by what did i mention just now i mentioned previously that the the things over here should be something that okay for example right uh okay we have d and a of course we have d and a so if let's say we want to find a so over here should be the d right so in this case it should be 0 0.83 to be divided by 0 0.78 divided by 0 0.83 okay because this one applies this one follows the formula of this conditional probabilities all right p a b equals to oh, i'm sorry <laughs> actually it's supposed to be p a Mm, hold on. This one should be P D. Okay, sorry, A, not the, not D. Okay, don't even I get confused. <laughs> don't don't get confused. A arrive on time given that it departed on time. Okay, it should be like this. This is the correct one. If you missed it, of course, you're going to miss the marks. And what about the, the B? Okay, so I bet that you must be able to come up with your... Uh, with the solutions, just change this one. So this D should be D per A equals to P D. So basically, this is the same. Because of what? Because the intersect value is consistent if i say it's going to be d but of course uh, don't make sure uh, how you want to define it it's going to be you can you cannot simply define it for example right this is p d make sure that it is d um, d uh, intersection a don't 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 write it the other way around but the value is consistent 
so even though you want to find the value if let's say they want yeah the, the plane has to arrive or the plane has to depart as long as the probability that it departs and arrive on time is truly consistent so the value for this one should be the same except this one which is the pa so for the b for the for the question b you just change the d uh, you just change d here okay uh, let me let me let me erase this and this one and this one also do I have another color <laughs> okay I have it okay this is D A and this one the this one should be D yeah sorry A right so the A is 0 0.82 okay so don't get confused so that's all for this week so during the class we're gonna wrap everything up and we're gonna discuss together